Greetings Legionnaires and welcome. Just wanted to make a quick little video here talking about the Avengers beta weekend I just got to play. It was on Xbox and PC this past weekend with PlayStation the weekend before and then this upcoming weekend it's going to be an open beta for everybody. But I just want to drop in here and kind of talk about my thoughts, my experience, and maybe give you a little bit more insight to the game that you might not already have. So let's get into it shall we? The Avengers beta, I've been waiting for this game for a long time. For people who know me, uh, I love, I really love the MCU and all that stuff. So it's not surprising that this game is something that I've been waiting for for ever since they announced it or have been waiting for ever since, you know, the Marvel Cinematic Universe kicked off. And as a fan of the Ultimate Alliance series, I've always kind of thought, you know, what would it be like to play as these characters in a third person game as opposed to kind of a top down isometric version? That's what we're talking about. Uh, I'll just record the ending. All right, let's get right into it. This game has a lot of things weighing on it. There's a lot of things that need to go right for it to really take off into the stratosphere. And that means there's a lot of things kind of working against it. So going into it, I kind of had a feeling for from the videos which I've seen, you know, what it was going to feel like and what it was going to be like. And it seemed like a lot of people were kind of down on it, but to be honest with you, I thought it played really well. The game, the beta that we have this kind of this past weekend and coming up here too, you get to play the kind of intro, the demo level, which is A Day or Avengers Day, where you get to kind of play through the opening section where the Golden Gate Bridge is being assaulted, San Francisco is getting attacked, and you get to try out all the Avengers. This is the only place and time in the actual game where you get to play as Thor and Captain America insofar as the beta is concerned. So kind of getting to play as them briefly was nice, but still it gives you that taste that makes you want more. For both of them, I would say they controlled pretty well. Uh, you know, Thor, very, you know, they kind of were going to get those, uh, uh, those kind of comparisons drawn to Kratos with the axe and the hammer because it's the same kind of lead combat designer they had from God of War working on this. So it was really fun to kind of throw the hammer and pin a person up against the wall and then attack some other kind of goons, but then also call the hammer back and hit some of those goons in the back of the head. That was really fun. And Cap controls wonderfully, kind of like Batman, but with a shield you can throw at multiple people, which I also adore. And I just want to play as him a lot more too, because I'm sure he's just, he's just incredible. Anyway, after that, there's a slew of different um, mission types you can go on. There's two more kind of campaign-like missions where you play as Hulk and Miss Marvel or Kamala Khan, respectively. And you get to just do a little bit of that story stuff. But then you kind of branch out into the differing types of drop zones and war zones. Now, the drop zones are a little bit smaller, if memory serves, and the war zones are kind of these bigger open areas. And then you can go tackle, like, objectives out there. And they'll have kind of bigger sections where you can like going through the Pacific Northwest kind of like redwood forests almost and then there's kind of more of like an urban city area that you can also go through I kind of found out late in the day that there was uh, another mission you could go on over there the mission types themselves are pretty basic there's very like a lot of the uh, there are three control points and you must hold at least two of these control points to kind of get your meter to go up before the other bad guys get their meter to go up more than you and you'll fail and that stuff was a little more annoying when I was playing alone with three AI companions, but then when I finally hopped in a game with my buddy, VJ Strom, uh, we were having a lot more success with that, just because it was just like, all right, you know, each of us holds a point and we're going to take it pretty easily. Uh, so those, those mission objectives, they're pretty straightforward or just, you know, go and beat this um, super boss. And uh, one of the actual cool things I wasn't expecting is the big main kind of uh, large mission at the end of this, which they wanted you to gear up for, which we hadn't at that point, but was going up against this gigantic mech type thing, which reminded me a little bit of the Walker or whatever it was from the end of Halo 3, or the beginning of Halo 3 that you get to kind of take down. I thought it was so cool. Uh, but that was a lot of fun, even if we were under level 4, we fought our way through and we still made it work uh, just because the game is pretty forgiving in that sense, where uh, your, your score at the end is out of 5 stars and it's more of like you have to beat it in a certain amount of time to gain all those stars and I think the higher you score on that, the more rewards you'll garner and that's not something I was super concerned about. But I want to kind of get into what the pros and the cons were from the beta here. For me, the the biggest pro is that I thought it was just fun to play, which you're probably seeing a lot of right now is a lot of Iron Man gameplay. I played through with every character. I didn't play extensively as all of them. I probably put about 
six hours into the beta over the weekend. Uh, I played a bit on Friday, and then I, had, I was gone for the weekend, and then I played a bit more when I got back on Sunday. But out of all the characters, uh, Iron Man, easily my favorite. I think Kamala Khan is fine. I'm just not a huge fan of stretchy abilities. That's just not, like, I've never really been into that sort of thing. I thought Black Widow was pretty good, all things considered, just because uh, she doesn't really have a crazy kit to work with. But in this game, she does, and she kind of moves around a little bit like Spider-Man plus Batman, or maybe just like Batman from the Arkham games, where you're kind of zipping into people and using your gadgets. And she's got guns, which Batman doesn't really have all the time, but uh, he occasionally does in the past. He's had some, but uh, for the most part, she was pretty fun to play too. And Hulk, I know people complained about him lumbering around. I didn't think he was that bad. I kind of wish he would have a better jump or leap when you're kind of traversing through those bigger environments, which we talked about earlier. But besides that, I thought he played pretty much how I would expect the Hulk to play. And I think once you get into more of the skill trees, which we only had access to one page of three in this uh, beta, I'm hoping that we can kind of build our characters in various different ways. So that way when I you know play as my Hulk versus your Hulk, it'll be a bit different or whatever style I want to play that will kind of reward that. And I'm also hoping the skill trees that we saw will go a bit deeper than the ones we uh, have in the beta. I could be wrong about that, but I'm really hopeful that they will. And I would imagine that's kind of a Herculean task to try to make all of these characters not only fun to play, which is kind of the primary thing, but also give them each deep skill trees that uh, makes people want to continue playing as them. Uh, but again, Iron Man was my easy favorite. I loved everything about him, and once I was able to not only have just the repulsors equipped, then also my lasers and my missiles, which you can uh, toggle between on the D-pad. Oh man, I was having so much fun. You can really get into it. Like Iron Man is made for this sort of game where you're like, you can be up close, you can be from a distance, you, you're flying around. Uh, it was really funny when I was flying around with him kind of out in the open, I hit B to the side and he dodged and it was very much like the aerial dodge you typically get in uh, Anthem, uh, especially with their kind of ranger javelin class. And I was like, oh my gosh, this it just felt, that felt really good. Uh, and that's one thing from Anthem that I enjoyed was kind of the controls, but it was fun to play as Iron Man and I wasn't getting sick of him and I woke up today and I, I wanted to play more. I checked in to make sure the beta was for sure done because uh, I was like, oh, I could go for some more Iron Man right now. He was really, really cool. And one thing too, if you're a big MCU fan, uh, a lot of the moves are ripped right from that, like really specific stuff. And maybe this is, you know, these are things that we've seen in the comics before and I'm not... Uh, the most well-versed in all of that for sure, but I really, really enjoyed the fact that like the Hulkbuster um, with Iron Man's Ultimate, he's got, you know, if you hold X with him, he does the kind of go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, like the quick punch thing, which I really enjoyed. And his, uh, it's very, he's very burly and he's very slow and he like his Y, his big heavy attack, he's, he'll grab a small character and kind of slam him down and slide forward, uh, just like the movie. Really appreciated that. Uh, and there's, you know, like even the repulsor um, kind of moves that Iron Man has very much like you'd see out of the MCU. And his lasers uh, were ripped straight from Iron Man 2 and Avengers and stuff. Like this, even the, the movements themselves are like dead on. Uh, and I just thought it was a lot of fun to play. It was even more fun to play with a buddy. And I think this game is going to be singing when you're playing, you know, with a full four person squad. Uh, because I was having a hard time and it was I tried this later in the day on Sunday trying to get like a full group of just random people together but it seemed like it was not going to happen I think when there's more Avengers to pick from it'll be easier to get a team together because this one's very like you have to have one of each of these Avengers and uh, that that kind of limits the the chance that you're going to be playing uh, as a full four group if there aren't as many you know Hulk players out there as there are Black Widow or vice versa or whatever else now this game is not perfect. Uh, <laughs> it has some issues. There are plenty of times when I'm in the middle of a fight and everything's going crazy and I'm not even exactly sure what's happening. I played on the Xbox One, so I wasn't able to manipulate between like the performance mode and the other mode, which like I think on PS4 Pro, you can mess with the difference like between frame rate and just um, overall resolution and stuff. And usually in action games like this, most people tend to prefer a better frame rate just because it allows you to understand what's happening and react more quickly, uh, which I would have liked to have the option of. Maybe it's tucked away in the settings. I looked for it. I could not find it. Also, it is a beta, uh, and so I can kind of be a little more forgiving with this, but it was pretty glitchy. I had one crash, uh, which was unfortunate, but then also other things where you just kind of see things, you know, 
characters doing T poses as far as like the bad guys or um, like a, like an invisible car like shaking and then we attacked it and it exploded and but you could see like the wheels on the ground like it was like a shadow of itself it was very very peculiar but stuff like that and some of the the moves weren't as responsive uh, I wish there was a better snappiness with Black Widow and Kamala's kind of grapple as far as when they're traversing an area sometimes you kind of jump to a thing and you tap A or whatever to kind of grab up to it, and sometimes they wouldn't do it until they were like almost falling into a, a you know, a bottomless pit, but they would end up kind of grabbing at the last second and pulling themselves up, and I just wish some of that stuff was a little snappier. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, it's not perfect. It's really fun to play with a group, uh, or at least I only play with like one guy, so like I would imagine, you know, put two more people in there and we could really have a ball, but uh, kind of, you know, co-opting your attacks and then also kind of doing your group finishers which is something I've always wanted in like Gears of War for them to do when you do enough damage to a big enemy you can press Y and B together and somebody will start working on like a finisher kind of move and then you can go up if you see that happening and you can press Y and B and then you kind of do something and with all that happening and then two other players attacking and other like robots like doing stuff at the same time the game can start to chug a little bit uh, which isn't the greatest and you want that to be optimized and we'll see if that gets figured out it's probably not something that's going to be at launch that is going to be in like a pristine state but it is something that uh, I, I did want to bring up just because I I'm concerned about it but it didn't detract enough from how much fun I was having uh, to make me say I don't want to play this at all because like I said it was just fun to play and again I played as Iron Man so I could switch between my rockets my repulsors my lasers and I was flying around and I had a really good time with it and even like the hero landing is like a special attack that he has so it's really great I really love that but uh, if you are a big MCU fan I think this is gonna scratch that itch and I'm hoping that over time when they add even more characters I'm looking at you Ghost Rider uh, that you know you're gonna have even more reasons to come back and want to play this that doesn't mean that it's going to be like a fully, you know, ironed out game at launch. I fully expect this game to have um, some issues, especially as a games as a service model that they're going to try to remedy over time. I'm not sure for some of these things if you can actually remedy over time with them, but I'm still hopeful for it uh, because I really enjoy my time and it has me uh, really thinking about the future and how much I've loved the Ultimate Alliance games. And this is so much more complex than that. And I'm, I'm really hopeful. I really want it to be cool, and I think there's the potential to uh, have a lot of fun. Uh, I didn't talk about the gear, um, which it, I feel like talking about in the beta doesn't really matter so much because it's just it just feels a little bit like it's there. It doesn't really matter. As Iron Man, I thought it was a little cooler than anybody else because it makes sense. But uh, there is gear in this game, you know, common, uncommon, rare, all that stuff. But I didn't really worry about that as far as like the effects that came with it, which those would be cool. Like I got these uh, repulsors that had PIM tech on them, and so that made them red. And I'm curious if later on, if those leveled up or if I used them more, if it would actually shrink uh, other enemies, because I noticed that with I think Kamala or somebody else, someone else had some sort of PIM tech on them, and it was shrinking enemies down, and which might make them weaker. I could do more damage to them. That sort of stuff is really cool to me, but in the early game, it's usually just for me. Like, get the numbers up and we'll worry about the percentage chance of things later, because right now I'll take something that gives me 20 armor, as opposed to something that's 16 with a percent chance of, like, a 10% chance to do this one random thing once in a while. So, yeah, uh, there's gear in the game. Uh, we'll get back to that, and we'll see if that's really interesting later on. I will say this, though. Um, there was this kind of interesting, like, kind of strange character progression thing, which some people are concerned about being, like, these kind of... Um, these hero cards that you level up over time. Uh, it gave me access to a free skin for Iron Man, this Epiphany armor, which I liked because it looked bigger and clunkier. I enjoyed that. Uh, I'm not sure what the full implementation of them will be in the final game, but I will wait to see that because this there's potential here for a lot of microtransactions, mostly for cosmetics, which I get, but I'm also a little nervous about it. So we will see, but I'll just say I was in my Epiphany armor. The Jaystrom, he was over in his Mr. Fixit Hulk armor or outfit at the end. And uh, yeah, I'm just hoping we could have even crazier ones later down the line. And again, please just put Ghost Rider in the game. Please, Marvel, I know you guys in Square and everyone, I know, so you guys are listening. Please just, just put him in there, okay? All right. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. So those are my thoughts. I enjoyed the game. Does it have faults and problems? Yes, it does. And I'm kind of 
interested to see how they're going to fix those things coming up in the future. As a games as a service model, obviously they're going to be supporting this for a long, long time. I'm just really curious how they're going to kind of transition it from this generation also into uh, the future generations that are coming up in a couple of months. But I want to know, do you guys like this sort of video format? If you do, please let me know. You can tweet at me. Officially, we're at GoCritical or I'm at JimmyGood013. Uh, but if you want to support us, consider checking out our Patreon, which you should be seeing our patrons over here, our $5 and up ones who help support us. Thank you so much. But we also have a Twitch, which you can see me. I'm playing on right over here, uh, which you can go subscribe over there. We have an Instagram and we also have a Spreadshirt where you can go buy some stuff and all those things help. But just sharing us around with a friend, that helps the most. So thank you so much to everyone who was here today. And until next time, just remember to adapt and overcome.